YouTube, what's the righteous word? This your boy Gangland Nime, aka Nime I before the E. Golly, I don't know y'all. Remember that. And we back with another video. So I wanted to break down this clip from the big deal, no jumper interview. Now was a lot of shit on there that I'm really not gonna fuck with because I don't approve of the the brother against brother shit. You know what I'm saying? Like the nigga Adam starting gang wars, family wars, and all kind of shit. Like I'm cool on that. But um I did want to pull this G-Face clip where bro speaking on G-Face like he was going to put hands on him or whatever because he's a cloud chaser getting that smack. So um, if this is your first time to the channel too, please like, subscribe, comment, share. Let me know what you think about the content down below. And um, it's a lot of shit in that interview, but I don't care to touch on it just because like, I don't know, that shit kind of personal. Like the gang shit is one thing, like y'all just a gang, but it's like, Family shit is just that that shit's messy. And I'm just thinking myself like I'm Muslim, but I'm not a lie. You feel me? I judge niggas. I hold grudges. I'm Henri. I, I can be. You feel me? And it's like, I don't know how I would feel if my brother was to do something like this. I don't um I don't even know if it's no coming back from it. And that probably sounds crazy to people, but it's just like how I am. I don't know, man. That shit is foul. I'll be like, niggas, fuck ya. But um, we're going to get into this clip. Yeah. But I uh, think the nigga G-Face, he was just trying to build some clout. Like, I don't know if he was trying to build a relationship with you by attacking Smack over the situation. He like, oh, there's yeah. something good right now. I can get on him, you know what I'm saying, and press the line on Smack, you know what I'm saying, to get in good with Adam or whatever. Because I had told him, I told him some shit in the message, like, you feel me? But uh, that was kind of weird to me that he was... He was defending the situation and it had nothing to do with him. Right. You feel me? G Face has always made that clear to me that because my wife is Armenian, that he was gonna basically go to war with anybody that had anything to say about me or my kid or whatever, which I was always kind of surprised. Like, you don't gotta do all that for me, I'm my own man. But also, sure, yeah, if you want to go to war with me on the in in yeah. Instagram and shit. I let's do I it. politicked on him heavy though, you feel me? I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna just speak on everything. I politicked on him heavy on some real gang shit and some real prison shit. You know what uh -huh. I'm saying? Because I'm like, damn, you taking up for a nigga and doing all this. I, no disrespect to you, but I'm like, damn, you taking up for woods and skinheads now? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If we going politics, you know what I'm saying? You, you supposed to be a South Sider. Right. You know what I'm saying? If we going to be talking this jail shit, like, where's, how you taking up for him? Mm. You know what I'm saying? If we but talk a politics. G-Fa is very open-minded. Like I was telling him, I'm like, every time he comes to do an interview, he bring, he brings a blood and a crip. And he's an yeah. Armenian from a Mexican gang. Yeah, he don't I mean, I just, I just went, I just went prison on him though, because he was, you know, he was talking a lot of. Prison. That's his language, just, you know. You just talking a lot of shit, so you know, I've been there too. You know what I'm saying? I know the politics, mm. and I know how to mash and stand on business when it come to that. You feel me? So, you know, I just popped my shit with him and shit. I, I said a whole bunch of shit. I wish I could pull it up. But I think the thing that. We gonna end it right there, but that's super funny because I ain't heard G Face say nothing about that. And G-Face talk about this person and this person and getting in this and getting in that, but he ain't said nothing about what Big Deal said to him. And Big Deal said he told him all kind of shit. You feel me? And I like how Big Deal did that too. Like, bro, you, you know what I'm saying? You over here taking up for the woods? Like, since when that's what's up? Since when? I don't know what's up with y'all and like just, just like glazing at him, bro. Y'all just be glazing this man me, and I don't understand it because everything that he shows you is like, Foul into the detriment of our people. But it's just like, if it entertains y'all, y'all cool. <laughs> if, it, if it make me laugh or whatever, it's cool. And that's a damn shame. You know what I'm saying? But uh, that's it for this clip. You feel me? Like I said, it's a gang of shit in that big deal interview. But I just don't care to, um, I don't care to do that. That shit is messy. Family business, all kind of alleged this and niggas ain't this. And I'm not really with any of that. Shame on Adam. For conducting this interview because you you're a messy ball head biznai. I'm just saying that, you feel me? And shame on Big Deal for sitting down with this nigga. But Big Deal watching the interview, Big Deal seemed just chill. He don't seem like he's angry or anything. He was just talking, very articulate and shit. He's good on camera, I'm gonna be real. But um he probably shouldn't have did this, man. But um, again, if this is your first time to the channel, please like, subscribe, comment, let me know uh what you think about the content down below. Share it for me too, man. Share it for me too. I need all that for the algorithm. Please and thank you. It's your boy Gangland Name. Peace.